Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the Daily Challenge for April 8th, 2023. The character that's the defect and the mod for our sealed deck. Craft a deck from 30 random cards. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And Night Terrors, resting a rest side seals 100% for HP, but costs 5 max HP. Chef and the card are really well here with 1493. Let's review the scores from yesterday first though. So Vopal ended up with 1436. That's a really good score. So I think a lot of people pointed out I should not have gone for Popper. Uh, Vorpal did not go for Popper and was able to basically kill everything with the Blasphemy. There's an early Blasphemy offered on Act 1 and Vorpal did really really well including killing the hexaghost thanks to that um thanks to that uh, blasphemy so um yeah really good run there really good score um now interestingly warpal also took the tiny chest relic as a result the rng was slightly more different um and so warpal was able to see the double orb event on act three and got the wing boots out of it as the rare relic uh, now that's something i missed and and i don't think it's just the tiny chest right i think melazan also took the tiny chest but didn't see that event i didn't take the tiny chest and didn't see that event either and then uh, Vorpal was able to get overkill and combo thanks to the study I did have that study as well overkill was easy with the blasphemy and generally just had a really good run so congratulations that's a really good score uh, then you have Lord of Paper Towel with 1358 not bad either Monkey Bone with 1235 I hadn't seen Monkey Bones, Monkey Bones names in a while so I'm happy to see uh, that name again then Mike with 1185 um, so uh, yeah and then Pelts with 1183 now Pelts uh, thought that maybe going for Highlander was a mistake um, because uh, I think most of us, other than Malazan, Malazan was able to get to 50 cards, so I think most others were not able to get to 50 cards, including me and Vorpal, but I think, I don't know, it's hard to say, I don't think anybody actually tried to go for collective bonuses, and I feel like I might have not have seen enough, but it's an interesting question. Um, all right, and then here you have Alex just barely making it to the top 100 with 11.54, and then Yavos and George missing the top 100 with 11.51 and 33. Uh, Malzahn had 1,051, which is not that great, but better than what I got. Um, so Malzahn definitely leaned into the rare cards, had apothe apotheosis and blasphemy, um, and also, as I mentioned, took the tiny chest but wasn't able to see the winging boots. Got a few other modifiers too, so that's a decent score. And then I, let's scroll down to my score... Uh, yeah, so I end up with uh, 985, which is, okay, not bad. I did perfect, well, sorry, not great, I mean. I did perfect uh, only two elites and none of the bosses, so I'm not super surprised. And then I suspect that this is Alejandro's um, username. Uh, yeah, Alejandro got 1986. Um, also, just got a little unlucky here and there, but um, yeah, uh, you know, what can you do? I am hoping that today, with a sealed deck modifier, I think I should be in a better position. Uh, oh, I should also mention, sorry, a few people died. So Myth Teller died to the Hexagos. Just like White did on the iPad version, still died to the Hexagos, which is definitely a challenge with the, the modifier, the Hexagos. Uh, and then Jenny died to one of the Act 3 Elites. Um, so yeah, yesterday was not a super easy run. I am hoping, usually sealed decks are a lot of fun. So let me reload without mobs and I'll get started. All right, since I am playing with just the blue cards, there's no reason not to go for collective bonuses. Um, I am trying to think if there's a good strategy that's uh, forming here, and I'm having a little bit of trouble. Now, there are two frost drops with the cold snap that uh, obviously going and, and cool headed, I guess that three going for a frost drop deck would be my favorite. Uh, sorry, not a frost drop, just generally an orb deck would be my favorite. Actually, there's a third cold snap here that might be no, wait. Uh, Never mind, never mind. That was one of the two. So that might be an option. Another option is to try to do something with the time dilation modifier. So pick up a lot of zero cost cards and card draw. So cool headed sweeping beam might help with that. There's a second sweeping beam and turbo, which is nice. Steam barrier is not bad either. And overclock. That might be a good option too. Yeah, that's a tough choice. I think I'm going to try to mix mix them all together. So I think I'm going to do have, have a few orbs, uh, orb cards and a few sort of zero cost cards. So let's, let's try. I, I'm going to start with... Um, I have to start with 10 cards, so let's do Beam Cell Cool Headed. So then Sweeping Beam, Cold Snap, Turbo, Stack might be a really good. Let's take the Overclock and Steam Barrier. And I think I should take another Cool Headed, uh, sorry, another Cold Snap. All right, two more cards. I'm trying to think if I should do something like Melter to deal a lot of damage, or maybe if I do Compile Driver and Ball Lightning, that would actually make the Compile Driver become another card draw card. There's also a second Overclock I see there, but I think a second Burn might be a little difficult to handle. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll do Ball Lightning and then Compile Driver. Okay, so for defense, oh, maybe this deck is a little, little light on defense because I just have the Steam Barrier and then the Frost Orbs, right? And then the Rastus Offense with Overclock and Turbo Support. I think it might still work with the Time Dilation Modifier, right? So as long as I can play a lot of cards, I, th I should be fine. All right, two, two lead paths. If I go on the left, I'll get an early shop and then one, two, three, four, just four Crush Mark Rooms. If I start on the right, I'll get one 
two, three, four. Also four crush mark rooms. Now the thing is on the left I have the choice to skip the shop. Whereas on the right I don't have that shop. Uh that choice, I mean. I think I'm gonna stick to the left. Not sure why. It's the same number of crush mark rooms. Uh rest side wise, there's one rest side on the left and uh also one on the right uh, on the right, yep. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's. I think the reason is because I do want to avoid the shop. So let's hit. Let's go for the path without the shop. Safety goal for a future shop. All right. Let's start with cool. Whoops. Sorry about that. Cool headed ball lightning steam barrier. And uh, you know what? Let's do turbo. Might as well play all the cards that I have. And this way. Ooh, I pressed and turned too quickly. Actually, I would have been able to kill right the cool headed, not the cool headed, the um, compile driver. Actually, no. I was one short. That's fine. All right. Not a bad start. Actually, with the slow debuff, it would have been enough to kill, right? I saved. I would have saved one HP. We got a blessing of the forge, leap, stack, and capacitor. Uh, capacitor is not a bad idea because I do have some ore generating cards, but I'm thinking leap or stack might be better. Let's take the stack. Hopefully, my deck will my deck will grow larger, and so the stack will be more useful. All right, let's start with uh, turbo uh, cool headed again, and then uh, steam barrier sweeping beam. Okay, and then I can do compile driver. And kill at least one of them with a cold snap and then deal a bunch of damage. Oh, actually, that's enough with the orb to kill. Good. Capacitor Claw Sunder. Second time I'm being offered a capacitor. I think I will take it now because I do have enough orb generation, clearly. Remove Transformer Upgrade. Uh, transforming is interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm actually... No, I'm happy with the cards I have. Let's just upgrade something. And the thing I should upgrade is probably the Cool Headed for extra card draw. And now I just need more zero cost cards to uh, make that Cool Headed worth it. All right, 12 incoming, let's do Steam Barrier. Can I kill one of them? If I do, here, let's just play everything. Get the slow debuff going. Actually, that, yeah, that turbo was unnecessary, right? Because I am left with as much, well, I don't have any cards to play, unfortunately. We got Compile Driver, uh, Beam Cell, Cold Snap, Sweeping Beam. Yep, that's enough to kill. All right, Doom and Gloom Claw are consumed. Doom and Gloom is interesting. Would give me a Dark Orb. Who's my final boss here? Guardian, yeah, I might need some block for that. Consume might be better, especially because I picked up the the um, capacitor, right? Let's take and consume now. I wouldn't mind getting that upgraded too. Here, I'm losing a lot of HP to get Stone Calendar at the end of, end, end of turn seven. Deal 52 damage to all enemies, which is good. Just unfortunately, it takes too long to become useful. Here, I'll take the Regret Curse as well as Potion Belt. I'm gonna pick up into Potion Slots. Okay. And then here, Acid Slime and Cultist. Yeah, I think I'll do Consume here, and then I can do. Let's do Ball Lightning first. Okay. Yeah, I really need to get that consume upgraded. Six incoming. Let's do turbo sweeping beam. Um, then see what the cool headed gives me. I can do capacitor now. Then uh, let's do let's do compile driver first, so that I don't actually never mind. I had two orbs already, and then beam cell and ball lightning for a kill, and then steam barrier to not take any damage from the enemy. I still will take damage from the um, from the curse, of course. All right, turbo sweeping beam. And then cool headed, cold snap. That's enough to go. Good. Okay, go for the steam barrier. Another capacitor. I think I'd rather take a second steam barrier rather than a second capacitor, at least at this point. Uh, side just stick left. Okay. All right, sentries. Uh, too bad I don't have that doom and gloom. Um, let me see. Stack is unfortunately not very useful. Steam barrier together with two block. Yeah, that's not enough either. What if I do stack? Yeah, so let's do steam barrier and now the stack is enough. Okay, so maybe instead of playing that, let's do sweeping beam and then ball lightning. Oh, I can actually do turbo too. Good. So then let's do consume. Oh, I'm fully defended. I don't need stack. And now I can do ball lightning. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 18. Uh, yeah, defending this is going to be a challenge. All right, let's do overclock. I also have an upgrade potion. Unfortunately, no, that will be enough. Unless I can kill the backliner. I don't think I can, though. Let me try. Wait, so 12, 15. Yeah, I think if I drink the Blessing of the Forge, this is 18 plus 4, 22. Yeah, I think I need the vulnerability. Okay. All right, and then let's do Capacitor now. And I will just need... I have 8 block every turn. I just need one bit more. One block more, to be honest. Or I just need another Frost Orb. Yeah, I think if I play this now, I don't take any damage. So I'll speed this up. I'll be right back with the victory, hopefully. All right, we got, we got Ink Bottle. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card, as well as a Gambler's Brew. And Barrage is not a bad idea. It would be better if I had extra energy, though. I think I'll take... Yeah, speaking of extra energy, um, 
not energy. I meant uh, orb slots here, but here aggregate might be useful with that extra energy. Or should I take a second cool headed? Let me risk and take aggregate again. The reason I'm risking this is because if my deck doesn't grow larger fast enough, it might be useless. We got a more you get the next two curse you obtain. I'm gonna skip this because I am hoping to get two curses, although it might be not super easy. All right, next I think upgrading the consume first and then the uh, capacitor next. Okay. All right, Jawworm and Louse here. Let's start with Ball Lightning. Actually, let's do Trivial Overclock, see what I get. Also get the slow debuff going a little bit, and then I can probably... This is 9 block, right? Or 9 damage, so that's not enough to kill the backliner. Uh, let's do Cold Snap first, and then do Stack. Okay. okay. Only taking 1 HP, which is fine here. And then here, let's do Consume Cold Snap. And then I messed up. I probably should have done a better job. Actually, I'm almost fully defended here. Let's do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I just need to get rid of the orb and I should be fine. Uh, let's do compile driver, cold snap, and that's enough. Good. Okay. Alright, stack charge battery FTL. Stack I already have a copy of, so I'll take it just because of that reason. Mm -hmm. And then Grum and Knob. Uh, definitely want to start with Agate. Very happy that I have that on turn one. Consume is pretty good too. Let's do compile driver. And then Sweeping Beam, I still have the Turbo that seems to be, yeah, not super useful. It's not bad either, though. All right. And then I don't need to play anything else. Good. That was a nice turn one, I have to admit. Mm -hmm. 14. I do have Capacitor and another Frost Orb would be 15 block. That might be worth it. All right. Let's do Capacitor, then Cold Snap. All right. And then Ball Lightning. Again, no reason to play anything else. All right, and then here, let's do Compile Driver. Um, aggregate is not that good. Let's do Sweeping Beam. And then... Oh, boy. I... Oh, uh, the Orb. Right, right. The Lightning Orb is enough to kill. Phew, that was a close one. Did perfect this one. I got Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. Recycle Doom and Gloom Melter. I think now I'll take a Melter, which should help against the upcoming Guardian. Okay. All right, Acid Slime. Let's do Beam Cell, Compile Driver. Then uh, I don't think I'll do Capacitor. Let's do Steam Barrier. Consume... And then Capacitor or Sweeping Beam first? Uh, I don't think I need Overclock. I don't have energy to play whatever I was going to draw. And I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here. All right. Ball Lightning, Cold Snap, uh, Ill Transform. Okay, soon enough. All right. Got a Flex Potion, which I probably don't need, but I'll take it because I have the orbs, uh, the slots, I mean, the potion slots. And then let's take the Cold Snap for sure. All right, two Mad Gremlins, one Fat Gremlin, one Shield Gremlin. That should be a party. Let's start with Sweeping Beam, then Cold Snap. Uh, should Cold Snap somebody else first. Let's Cold Snap the Backliner, then Cold Snap you. Okay. And then I'll do Gold... Uh, cool Headed, I mean. And Overclock. I might have trouble defending, but it's okay. I'll accept a little bit of damage here. Mm -hmm. All right, so here let's do Beam Cell... And Cold Snap, and then Compile Driver, hopefully. No, that's fine. I was hoping for another Cold Snap, but I can fully defend here. And, um, yeah, should be fine, I think. Any decent tag would allow me to kill. Yes, good. Okay. All right, got a Fear Potion, Leap, Auto Shield, Steam Barrier. Um, I mean, I already have a few Steam Barriers, so let's take another one. Why not? And then last upgrade on this act, I think, should be the capacitor. Even though I haven't yet seen it often enough, but having capacitor together with the... What's the name of the card I'm blanking? Um, I forgot. The other card that lets you... Oh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I think capacitor and consume. That was the word of the other card. Yeah, consume. Those two upgraders are pretty good. All right, let's do capacitor, cold snap, and wait. I guess I'm taking a little bit more damage from the regret than I'd like. Mm-hmm. And then here, let's do Beam Cell, Sweeping Beam. Then uh, Cold Snap. And then I think I'll do Ball Lightning. Okay. All right, nine incoming here. I would love to do Consume, but then I won't have enough block. But together with the Cold Snap, I should have enough. No. I completely messed that up. I kind of want to reload. I forgot that I was going to take damage. It's a silly thing to forget. Let me reload and see if, if that is the only thing. If that's the only thing that makes me lose a perfect, I'll be mad. So let, let me make sure that that's the only thing. Let me replay everything the same way as it was before. Okay, this is the turn. Now, I have to play Consume, but I can't do the Cold Snap. But I'm also fully defended. So, I mean, if I want to, I can do Stack. It doesn't really matter. Let's do Stack, sure. Okay. 
All right, 16. Here is another Frost Orb that gives me 15 block and Seam Barrier will be enough, right? So here, let's do Aggregate first and Overclock. Okay, Steam Barrier. Unfortunately, the stack is not that useful just yet. Let's do Cold Snap. Then um, I have 20 block, right? I can't, I don't want to drop down to 15. Maybe it's not a bad idea for next turn as well. So let's just do Melter and then that should be plenty. Okay. All right, 20. I'm fully dependent here. Let me see if I can deal some more damage. Um, I can do another consume. That'll be 21. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, right. It's upgraded, so it's 24. Mm -hmm. All right, 128. Not much left here. Unfortunately, stack is very useless. Uh, let's do ball lightning. Lose the frost orb, which is not ideal, uh, but not much I can do about that. Okay. Nine incoming. Another consume would give me 20 block. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's do aggregate consume. And then for 22, let's do stack, beam cell, and um, yeah, compile driver. Or another cold snap. Now ah, let's do compile driver. Okay. Oh, look at that. Stone calendar actually helping me here because I might be able to kill next turn. 16. Let's do cool headed. Steam Barrier 1 and 2. That should be plenty of block, but um, I think this is fine. Yeah, I can deal the rest of the damage. Only 10 damage next turn. I have 9 focus already. All right, let's do Beam Cell and Consume. Okay. All right, perfect this one. Very fun. We got a Strength Potion, Machine Learning Echo from Core Search. I think yesterday, as much as I made a mistake going for Popper, I think it's the right thing to do today. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm also not a huge fan of any of these. So Echo Form might have been nice, but let's skip this one. All right, Curse Key, Gastro Lape, or Nuclear Battery. Um, I think Curse Key is probably the safest. Gain energy at the turn. You want to whenever you open a non-boss chest to obtain a curse. Okay. All right, and then Act 2, Bronze Automaton. So let's see. One, two. Multiple two lead paths again. If I go on the far left, I'll get one, two, three, four... Five question mark rooms, and if I start in the middle and turn right, I'll get just two. If I am on the right, I'll get just four. Uh, no, three, three. So if uh, five, it is okay. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here let's do beam cell, cold snap, cold snap. Yeah, I have the energy right now that I have the curse key, so I should be able to play a lot of cards, and that actually makes it a little easier. Wait, I don't have enough block. Let's do cool edit to be fully defended. Makes it a little easier to deal more damage with the time dilation modifier as well. So having extra energy is definitely an advantage, I think. Oh, that aggregates were pretty useless. Uh, let's play these steam bears for a few, few extra skills, making the time dilation modifier deal a tiny bit more damage. All right, 10 incoming. I think here I'll do capacitor consume. Okay, that should allow me to be fully defended. And then might as well do steam barrier and melter again to avoid um, taking a lot of damage with the regret. Mm -hmm. So cold snap sweeping me for a kill. Good. All right, we got an attack potion, chill claw or recursion. I would love to get a chill and I would love to get it upgraded too. Um, oh, I wait, did I decide in the path? Uh, right, I said, uh, hang on, I forgot the path I was going to take. Was it? Four crush mark rooms on the left. Yeah, two elites, four crush mark rooms, right? One, two. There is the option to go for the early shop on the left. I hadn't thought about that. Middle and right was the left side. So I can go this way, hit this shop. Then I'll have, yeah, just four crush mark rooms. There is no five crush mark room path, right? Um, you know what? I have enough gold. Let's go this way and then turn left. Here's curse number two. We got a decay curse, which is nice. And then here, Pendipus might be nice to get the Oracle modifier. I think I'll take it. Every 10th attack, your blade deals double damage. Yep, pretty good. I don't think I need either Cauldron or Prayer Wheel. Prayer Wheel might have been nice if... Well, actually, I would, have, I would have had to spend all my gold. It might have made it a little more likely to get collector bonuses. Let me redo that real quick. Because I think... So, Pendip might help me get the Oracle modifier, but it's not guaranteed. Now, the prayer will, I mean, it's also not guaranteed, but it's much more likely to give me more collective bonuses. So let's take it. Yeah, normal enemies drop additional card award over the pen nib. In terms of cards, I'm not a huge fan of any of these. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to take them. And I don't think I need any of the potions either. So I think it was just, yeah, I guess the shop was just for that uh, prayer wheel, which is, I think, a good good thing to have. All right, aggregate beam cell. Yeah, the problem is sometimes if I don't, don't draw, don't have any card draw in my hand, that might be a problem. And incoming, I can do consume turbo overclock. Come, okay. and then a stack is probably not enough. Let's do compile driver to see what I get first. Then ball lightning. Oh, I should have done melter first, of course. And then is cold snap enough? It is with the orbs, right? Good. 
Okay, we perfect. I right, perfect that one. Strength potion. I already have one. I don't think I need another one. A reinforced body hologram. Reinforced body is not a bad idea. Hologram might be a little better though. And then definitely another cool headed. Did I sort A to Z? No, I should definitely sort A to Z. I think that's my third cool headed already, right? Okay. Uh, no, no, I am trying to go for curses, so I can't remove all the curses. At least that won't be really the goal. All right, 21 right off the bat. I'm getting the big attack, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, let's do sweeping beam. So the problem is I don't have a lot of block. Is there anything else I can do? Let me use the Gamma Screw, get rid of the Curses and the Melter. Hope that I can... Okay, okay, this is much better. Let's do um, Steam Barrier, Cool Headed. I kind of want to do the Consume, right? So that'll be 4, 10. I can Hologram back another Steam Barrier. That'll be 15, 18. And then I can still play... Yeah, yeah, so I think if I do Consume... No, I miscalculated. I miscalculated. At least the stack... Oh no, the stack is one off too. I can't believe this. What if I... So stack is nine, I have 11, so that's exactly 20. I need 21. What if I just drink, uh, play another card here? Yeah, cold snap is perfect. Okay, and then I can do stack. Actually, okay, never mind. I got turbo, so now I can actually keep going. All right, well, I I mean, if I have to use a potion, might as well, you know, use one. Free up a potion slot. Let's do another cold snap, and this is fine. Okay. Well, now I have too much block, even. All right, 12 incoming. Too late for the agate. Let's do chill, beam cell, cold snap. Actually, I'm fully defended, so I don't need the stack there. Okay. Another 21. All right. Uh, again, I'm drawing the stack in the worst possible time. Uh, let me do... Evoking this is going to be 8 plus 5, 13. Another steam barrier is 19. Again, I'm having trouble. I do have the stack, though. Yeah, I think I'll do... Here, beam cell, ball lightning, then capacitor. Actually, let's do overclock first. Oof, losing losing energy there. Uh, let me do 18. Yeah, I think I can do capacitor, cool-headed, and then play one as the streamlines. That should allow me to be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm, 18... Another consume is not a bad idea. Um, I have 16 this way. Yeah, and then with the cold snap, I don't need the turbo, so I can just do cold snap and melter. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24. All right, stack is fairly useful. Let's just play everything here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, should I do cool headed? No, I'm fully defended. I think uh, there's no reason to draw anything if I don't have the energy to play it. Uh, again, too late for the aggregate. Actually, I can draw with the compile driver, then do aggregate. Okay. Then sweeping beam, cold snaps, cool headed. Oh, actually, that's enough. Good. Perfect. That one. We got lizard tail. One of you die healed to 50% of your max HP instead. As well as. Yeah, let's take an upgrade hologram. I'm still probably going to try to go for popper anyway. All right. Got the Sneko here. Definitely start off with the aggregate. Hope I can get some more card draw in here. Cool headed is good. Overclock is really good. And then consume is pretty decent too. All right. That, I can't complain about that now. I could play the turbo, but I don't think I need to. All right, 15. Uh, okay, so there's a two-cost hologram here. I could use it to bring back a... Not an aggregate. Let's bring back the cool-headed for card draw. Hope for something zero cost. That did not happen. But I am fully defended, so no reason to play any of the scene barriers. Mm -hmm. 15. A free compile driver. Let me do beam cell first and compile driver. Cold snap is free as well. And then another cold snap. And let's do um, the cool-headed. Too bad that the chill is not free. Mm-hmm. And another 8. Uh, can I bring back something that deals uh, about 10 damage? Um, I guess Cold Snap is the only candidate, and that's not enough. And it's better than nothing, but fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage to the Regret, which is a little annoying. At least I can kill here. Got a Blessing of the Forge Potion, Claw, Steam Barrier, Stack Discharge. I'll take another Steam Barrier, even though I feel like I have... Actually, that's my fourth one already, so I'm going to stop taking any more now. And let me not forget to look at this. Okay, there's another Steam Barrier. Great. I don't think I need Stack Discharge, so I think this one I safely, safely will skip. And then let's go right and then left. Uh, that gives me one less rest site, and I don't think I need that many rest sites. All right, Beam Cell. I should have done the Cool Headed first. Yeah, in case there's something better to hologram, let's do another beam cell, steam barrier, and 15. I'm fully defended. Might as well hologram a cool headed. See if that maybe gives me something useful. Compile. No, let's do uh, let's do ball lightning. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also have a good set of potions, so I might save that for the upcoming boss fight against the bronze automaton. All right. So here, let's do turbo overclock, then cool headed. Mm-hmm. 
and then sweeping beam cold snap melter i can get this bird to the ground uh, did i need to get it to the ground though i could have it uh, might have been a better idea to attack the backliner just to use the fact that the enemy was still vulnerable now it's not vulnerable anymore let's do cold snap consume and then i'll do another oh capacitor is really good here okay mm -hmm. 21 there's chill steam barrier that allows me to be fully defended good as long as i don't draw any burns 13 cold snap one cold snap two that's 25 okay yeah i think with uh, this many frost orbs and this much focus i should be fine okay wait never mind let me hang on for this turn 31 uh let me do consume mm -hmm. then cool headed actually i think that's still enough right 32 yeah yeah that's definitely enough i mean six focus is great Okay, I do want to get maybe a lightning orb so I can slowly start to kill. Thank you for listening, game. Let's do lightning orb, cold snap, and then aggregate doesn't really help me, but doesn't hurt me either. Oh, stone calendar killed that. Good. Got a potion of capacity, which is nice. Bullseye, go for the ice barrage. I'll take the go for the ice. I think that's the best of those. And then definitely defragment here. Yeah, that's no questions about that. All right, turning left for one more elite. Yeah, I got doubt as well as dream catcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Probably not going to happen because I have the night terrorist modifier. And then next I should, uh, yeah, let's upgrade the chill to make sure it's always in my opening hand. And after that, I'll upgrade the defragment, I think. That would be nice to have upgraded as well. Okay. And then, yeah, you're going on the left. Oh, uh, elite, never mind. Almost missed that. Okay, good thing I have that chill upgraded. Is that going to be enough? Do you have a good set of potions? So let me drink the flex potion, then do overclock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Melter might be good. Uh, let's do chill. And then melter, or beam cell... Melter is 29, almost enough to kill the backliner. I can do Compile Driver to kill and draw some cards. I need 19, so let's do Cold Snap. So that's 11, Steam Barrier, and um, so that's 17. Hologram is enough, so I can Hologram a one cost. How about I Hologram back a, uh, yeah, let's do Mel Melter. It's the best card I have here. And it kills the other one too. Good. All right, very happy with this fight. I guess it's not over yet technically, but uh, let's do Cool Headed. Um, capacitor, ball lightning, cool headed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, at least I have one lightning orb. Uh, let's go for the ice consume, cold snap, um, defragment, and seam barrier. Mm -hmm. Seven, sweeping beam, cold snap. Aggregate is unfortunately very useless, so I guess I'll wait. I'd like to kill before the stone calendar triggers, uh, otherwise it would have taken too long. Alright. Okay, we got blue candle, unplayable curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust. It's really huge for this deck. Double energy is not a bad idea. Chaos, turbo. I already have turbo. I could take a second one, but no, let's take the chaos. Uh, the double energy, I mean. And then one more question mark room here. That's another shop. Runic capacitor is interesting. At the start of combat, or start of combat with three additional orb slots. Now, another cool-headed might not be a bad idea. I wouldn't mind more card draw. Uh, where are my cool-headeds, actually? Oh, just two, right. Uh, let's see. So, can I afford multiple? Um, this is very expensive, but I could afford that and the cool-headed, right? So, let's take the Runic Capacitor, and then I'll also take cool-headed. Okay. That, together with the Potion of Capacitor, means I should have plenty of orb slots. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here, let's do Capacitor, Chill, Compile Driver. Yeah, I really need more card draw. I think that's my biggest problem at the moment. I mean, I'm fine this turn, but in general. Um, all right, let's get rid of the regret so I don't take too much damage. And then cool headed, anything any ooh, aggregate is pretty good. Let's do aggregate, then hologram. Uh probably compile driver to draw more things. Okay. Double energy is fine. I have overclock. Steam barrier. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, this is fine. I don't have to complain too much. Do I want to get rid of the doubt? Um no, I think it's fine. Uh, I can save the 1 HP I would have lost otherwise. Okay. Alright, so here, definitely consume. And then beam cell, sweeping beam. I guess I could have hologram consume, although then I wouldn't have the energy to actually play it. Alright, I think now that I have lots of orbs, I should be fine. Let's do the fragment, turbo, ball lightning. 21, yeah, I have plenty of blocks, so I don't even need to get rid of the decay. Mm-hmm. And I think the orb should kill. Maybe I'll speed that along by doing beam cell sweeping beam. And then maybe let's play a few more cards just to um, get the ink bottle closer to 10. Actually, this is enough to kill. Fine. 
All right, skim, rip and tear, streamline, skim would be great card draw. Um, not a, Actually, now that I have lots of warp slots thanks to Enrooting Capacitor, I think Barrage is not a bad idea. And then here, let's definitely take the skim. Okay. All right, Cultist and Chosen. Let's start with Chill, Beam Cell, Skim. All right, and then probably just do Cold. Yeah, I can play everything, including... Ooh, can't play the Hologram, but I think I'm fine. Oh, actually, I will take two damage. Might have considered getting rid of the Decay that way. I would have lost one HP only rather than two. Let's do Cool Headed, get rid of the Regret for sure, then Hologram a one-cost attack card like Melter. Okay. Mm hmm 10 incoming, let's do Ball Lightning, Sweeping Beam. I'm fully defended here, right? Yeah, so I'm going to avoid playing any of the skills. Okay. And then 14, I can... No, Aggregate is useless. Let's do the Fragment, go for the Ice. Cool-Headed 1, Cool-Headed 2. And yeah, there's still a Consume in my draw pile, right? So let me... Well, let me draw two cards. Yeah, I was hoping that I would draw the Dazed, and I'm still fully defended. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And then here I should grab the Consume. Actually, Barrage is 36 damage, right? That's enough to kill. Good. All right. Uh, Doom and Gloom, Barrage, Recursion. I already have a Barrage. Doom and Gloom might be nice. Melter, go for the Ice or Leap. Uh, let's take a second Melter in here. Just for the sake of Collective Bonuses, I'll take another Barrage. The problem is it's only useful after a certain point, right? Up until that point, it's not very useful. Let's upgrade the Defragment next. Definitely a very important upgrade. All right, let's see. Bronze Automaton. Um, too bad I have to chill on this turn, right? Uh, let's still do... Actually, let me do Ball Lightning, then chill. And then Melt and Barrage. Yeah, that's a problem. No card draw. I might consider the Strength Push, but let me see how this fight goes first. Okay, 14 incoming. I have a few Cool Headed. That's good. Let's do Cool Headed 1. Consume is great. Cool Headed 2. All right, here I think I'll get rid of the Curse. All right, so I have 15. I'm already fully defended. Let's do Turbo Overclock. Okay, then go for the ice. I don't think I'll do skim. Might not hurt. Yeah, too bad I got the double energy a little late, huh? Wait, what if I hologram the turbo back? Play that, then do double energy. That was a little unnecessary, but I do have melter here. So let's worry about the minions with cold snap and melter. And then might as well do this. Okay. This one took aggregate, which I would like back. Back then took the fragment. That's fine. Yeah, I, I think I, I just want to make sure I play the capacitor at some point. So this would give back the aggregate, which will give me an extra uh, two extra energy, right? Yeah, let's do barrage. Well, one extra energy because I have to spend one energy to actually play it. And then do regret, and then compile driver. And uh, what else am I? I still have the capacitor, right? I don't want to accidentally draw into it. So I think instead I'll do the cold snap, and I'm not. Well, let's do cool headed still. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to play anything here. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I'm guaranteed to draw the capacitor, which should allow me to be fully defended. Yep. And then the backliner had the fragment. I would like that back, so let's do beam cell, sweeping beam. Mm -hmm. And then the fragment. So yeah, that 35 block already, which is pretty good. And let's add another frost orb to that. I don't think I'll do turbo overclock. So basically, I need to get to 51. I have 42 right now, so I still need a few more frost orbs. So thank you, cool headed. And thank you, Cold Snap. So this is 749. Yeah, one more I think should be plenty. So yeah, let's just do Cold Snap, make my life easier, and then Melter and nothing else. Okay. okay. All right, so I'm fully defending against the Hyper Beam attack. I can even do another Consume. Yeah, let's do that. So that'll be 10 times 7, so 70 block. All right, and then one more Cold Snap, Compile Driver. I should have done the Compile Driver first, and I could have played the Aggregate, although I don't think it would have made a huge difference. All right, not being attacked here. I think, should I just do Melter, Barrage, then Hologram the Barrage? I could have also considered upgrading it, just so it deals more damage, but fine. Oh, look at that, Stone Calendar. Again, helping me out. Yeah, for a turtle deck like this, Stone Calendar is actually pretty good. All right, 26, I'm fully defended. Let's do Barrage. Should have done Cool Edit first again, but fine. Hmm. All right, I think I could even survive the next Hyper Beam attack, right? I have so much block. Um, let's do Beam Cell, Cool Headed, Melter, then Compile Driver, and that's it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, 32, no problem here. Let's do Barrage, then Hologram. I think I'll Hologram another Barrage. It is dealing a good amount of damage at this point. All right, perfected this one. Uh, Meteor Strike, Seeker, Multicast, all of them are good. Seek would have been great, but no, I'm going for Popper, and then... 
Meteor, or oh, Sneko Eye is tempting. Now, if I had taken that Meteor Strike earlier, it would have been great. But unfortunately, as it stands, I have lots of zero cost cards, and it's just the consume that is more than one cost. So I don't think I can take the Sneko Eye. I also don't really would want to do Busted Crown because I have the um, the Prayer Will, so all enemies will drop extra card rewards. This might make it harder. I also don't really need and want Philosopher's Stone again. Energy at the start of your turn, all enemies start combat with one strength. I mean, that's basically just giving enemies free strength, which I don't, I'm not a huge fan of. And again, I have the sufficient energy, so I think this one I'll skip. I probably would have taken Philosopher's Stone, but I have enough energy, so let's just skip this one. Okay. All right, Awaken 1, final boss, so playing powers is not super easy. One, two, three. There's There are three, or there's one three lead path. Okay, so if I start in the middle, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms, and then I can either choose to skip one or I can do a shop and a question mark room. The path on the right, um, actually, no, has much less, and it's only two. It's not much less. It's uh, the same amount, but it's only two question mark or two elites rather than three. So let's take the guaranteed three. Okay. All right, Exploder Repulsor. Um, I don't even think I need double energy, right? There's nothing I need to either hologram or, um, well, yeah, hologram mainly. Uh, I guess I'll just do Steam Barrier to avoid taking damage, and that's it. Okay, a little bit of a disappointing turn. I'm also trying to think if I can get the combo modify here, but I can't really think of a good strategy that won't take me forever. Let's do Beam Cell, Cold Snap, Sweeping Beam. Okay, then Defragment, Decay, and then Steam Barrier. Hologram, um, I'm fully defended, so a zero-cost card like uh, nothing I have. Great. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Exploder is trying to explode. Uh, let's do Consume, Compile, Driver, get rid of that Exploder, then Capacitor and Cool Head. Oh, I can't, I can't afford Cool Headed. Okay, now I think I should be fine in terms of defense, so let's try to get some more Lightning Orbs. Um, Barrage is not a bad idea, but it's only 16 damage. Let's do that. Then Skim gives me nothing really super useful. I can do Melter, get rid of the Curse, and um, should I get rid of the other Curse as well? No, I think I'll be too much. Yeah, I think this, this is sufficient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here I should be able to kill. Good. All right, uh, we got an attack potion, capacitor, charge battery, compile driver. I think I already have... No, I just have one compile driver and one capacity. So which do I want to want to have more? I think another compile driver is better. It gives me card draw, and I sort of need it. Uh, upgrade a card. I mean, sure. I'm not sure which that should be, though. The barrage, maybe? I do play it often enough. Acrobatics, Capacitor, let's do Barrage first. Okay. Alright, so, Dark Links here. Definitely gonna start it with Consume, then Chill. Okay, so that's 15 block right off the bat. Then let's do Compile Driver, Cool Headed. Wait, this is 24, it's not enough. Let's do Cool Headed. So that's 20. Ah, two Barrages, that's a huge shame that I can't play both of them. Alright, fine. Mm hmm. I'm still taking damage, right? No, no, I have enough, right? Okay, so then go for the Esther Backliner. Um, skim. I can do Melter, Cold Snap. 12, 14 is 28. I have 20. Yeah, I have more than 28. More than I need. Let's do Cool Headed and then see if I can do something like Turbo Ball Lightning and Sweep Maybe. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, no one, well, backline is attacking. Let's do the fragment, beam cell, compile driver. Okay. And then I don't think any double energy because I can fully defend this way anyway. And now I just have to do, worry about these two. Although, again, I have stone calendar active soon, although I'm not sure if I want to wait for that long. Let's do aggregate. That was completely useless. That was definitely my mistake. Let's do the barrage here. I think I might have been able to play. Wait, what? Did I not play? Oh, I took the compile driver instead of the barrage. That was a mistake. In my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to take the brush. All right, fine. I guess I'll do Capacitor, get rid of the Regret. Mm -hmm. Now, they're all, all three are back again. Because I have so much Frost Drops, I think I'll speed this up because there's no chance I can take damage, and I'll be right back, hopefully, with a victory. Okay, yeah, as I predicted, that was easy. Um, Glacier Hologram Overclocked now. I have a copy of Hologram, but Glacier is really good. Let's take another Barrage here between Glacier and Hologram. How many Holograms do I have? it's more than one, I probably should take it. Yeah, I have to. All right, fine. Unfortunately, I have to take a hologram here. And an Essence of Steel might be better than the Fear Potion. I'm also not really using my potions really well today. Okay, so three elites sticking on the left. Let's do the question mark room and then two question mark rooms and then the elite. Okay, so chill, cool-headed, cool-headed again. 
Ball Lightning, Cold Snap. I think this is fine. Hologram, maybe. I don't know. Another Cool Headed? Seems excessive. Oh, right. And I don't have energy to support it. Mm -hmm. Alright, 5 incoming. That's good. Let's do Capacitor, Cold Snap. I should be fully defended. Can I get a 1 energy? Yeah, Ball Lightning is pretty nice. I do want to worry a little bit about dealing damage, so having some Lightning Orbs would be good. So here, let's do double energy, consume, and then I'll do... Do I want to re hologram the consume or the double energy or the barrage? Uh, let's do barrage. Okay. And then I think I'll hologram the consume. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do here. And then melter. Okay. So this way I'm drawing 40 block each turn without much effort. Um, get rid of this. Do aggregate. Okay. Then skim. Beam cell compile driver. Compile driver again. Barrage, okay. Yeah, the Saludi was definitely helping with that Barrage. Uh, I can do Melter and uh, Turbo Overclock. Okay. Then Defragment, then go for the Ice. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, okay, fine. No need to play the others, I think, even though I had extra energy left over. All right, Barrage should deal a lot of damage here, right? Let me play a few skills first. So Sweeping Beam and then Barrage. No, oh, not quite enough, but I'm sure you also hit it. Good. Okay, we got um, FTL, Church Battery, or Stack. I, I already have committed to Stack, so I should take it. And then here, Melter or Compile Driver. I have two Compile Drivers and I believe just one Melter. No, I have two. Well, let's take the upgrade one. If they're if they're identical, otherwise, might as well. All right, here, I definitely want to fight for a Rare Relic. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's do Chill Overclock here. I'm very happy with how many orbs I'm getting here. Should I do Capacitor? Actually, I have the energy to play everything, right? Let's do Capacitor, Cold Snap 1, Cold Snap 2, Melter, and then Barrage. Still taking a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a lot of incoming. Let's do Double Energy. Hope that I can get some good card draw going. All right, Cool Headed is nice. Another Compile Driver. Very good. Then uh, Ball Lightning alone is enough to kill you, so I can do Beam Cell the Backliner. Let me actually do the Steam Barriers, then Beam Cell, Melter, and then Barrage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. We got Bird Face Earn. One of you play a Power Card, heal 2 HP, which is great. A Liquid Memories Potion, which I like. Which should I give up, though? Um, Strength Potion might be nice. Let's give up the Blessing of the Forge. I don't need to upgrade that badly. I already have enough cool headers, right? No, I only have three. Okay, let's take a fourth one. Good. Got to collect bonus on that. And then turning left toward the three lead path, right? Mm -hmm. So here, let's start with a chill compile driver. Okay. Then cool headed one, cool headed two. Um, I can kill with melter. Uh, and I'm fully defended. I'm trying to think if I should play cool headed three that will give, or cold snap that will get rid of the lightning orb. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. Okay. This one should be easily killed next turn. Mm hmm. All right, a lot of incoming here. Let's get rid of these cards. I don't have any card draw, right? Can I hologram anything useful? I can hologram another the cool headed, I guess. That would could draw me some cards. Let's try that. Mm, there's capacitor. Aggregate should help. Let's do capacitor. Then steam barrier. Okay. I mean, I have 12, 28. I mean, if I drink this and can somehow kill all the minions, I should be fine. Wait, how much damage is this already? 10 times 6. So 60, not close. Um, yeah, I think I have to do kill you, kill you, and then uh, drink the Essence of Steel to be fully defended, which is a bit of a waste, but if I, if it gives me a perfect out of this fight, I'll be happy. Uh, let's do Skim, uh, Consume, that's exactly what I wanted, so let's do Turbo first, then Double Energy, Consume. Alright, so now I'm to th up to 30 block, which is pretty good. I can do Steam Barrier, Beam Cell... Ball Lightning, Melter, and then Barrage, 17 times uh, 7. That's pretty good. Yeah, almost enough to kill. Yeah, once I have uh, time dilation at 10, the Barrage is pretty good, and here I can kill. All right, I think it was worth one potion to perfect this one. We got Oddly Smooth Stone, Strange Come with one Dexterity, Equilibrium, Beam Cell, or Buffer. I think just for the sake of collective bonuses, I should take another Beam Cell. Okay. Yeah, I got Parasite as well as Mango. Open Pick Up Race from Extra by 14. That's really nice. And that is curse number 4, right? Regret, Parasite, Doubt, and Decay. Okay, I just need one more curse or a treasure chest. One of those two. Actually, I'm guaranteed one more curse. Right. All right, that's great. All right, uh, Nemesis. I have some card draw, so let's do double energy. Then cool-headed overclock. Okay, go for the ice is good. Let's get rid of these. Then steam barrier chill. 
Anything I need to hologram. Let's hologram another card draw like the cool headed. Also gives me frost drops on the side. Unfortunately, I don't have any more card draw here. Yeah, that's a bummer. I think I have the energy sometimes to be able to get played, uh, get up to 20 cards played. It's just, uh, you know, I don't draw the energy often enough. That's a cool headed, another cool headed. I'll get rid of the doubt. And then I guess I can do. Uh, let me see what playing the melter would give me. Actually, let's do beam cell instead. Compile driver. Another beam cell. All right, fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for either the fragment or the consume. 45. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. So can I kill here, actually? I do have the barrage, right? So that's 9 times 6 already. Not quite there. Um, if I do consume, that's only, yeah, that's not much more block. Can I hologram? Did I have a stack? I did have a stack. That's 20 blocked, right? So let's hologram the stack. So that's 22 plus another 12, 6, 18. That's 40 exactly. So I need a little bit more. I would like to do barrage and consume, but I can't. I have to choose. So let's consume here. So that'll be 25, 31, and 50 something. So that should be enough block. Come. Okay. Can't play the barrage, so that's a bummer. 18. I guess I can do aggregate, cold snap, sweeping beam. And then maybe I'll leave extra cartel for next turn with the ink bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the enemy's not vulnerable, though. That's the problem. All right, let's do the fragments. Stack is almost. Actually, no, stack with the orbs is enough. And then let's do compiled. I almost misplayed. I wanted to play the stack. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's not mess that up. And then now I can do barrage. Okay. Not that powerful, of course. Um, you know, didn't have vulnerability on the enemy and didn't play that many cards this turn. Uh, here, let's do cool headed ball lightning. Or uh, sorry, I messed that up really. Uh, cold snap and barrage. That's what, that's what I played. You know what? Let's bring back another barrage. Play that again. I mean, it's six HP damage, right? Why not? Mm -hmm. so I have thirty or forty-two block. I just need a little bit more. Um, let's do compile driver cold snap and then ball lightning and then i think i'll do ah, too bad i drew the second brush a little too late there should be enough oh look at that stone calendar allowed me to perfect this one i got preserved insect and recently to come myself 25 percent less hp really good a little late though um i already have enough cool headed so between loop and streamline let me take the loop it's not a bad idea i'm not too worried about damage got injury as well as bronze scale so i just come with three thorns so now i have the curse modifier as well which is great and then yeah two more question mark rooms and a late shop um, upgrading all cards is interesting. I already have enough curses. Uh, Rare Relic is interesting too. I wouldn't mind getting everything upgraded. I do have a few fights, so I have to make sure I don't accidentally lose HP. But yeah, let's do it. Uh, did I misclick? I'm sorry. Did I want to misclick? No, no, I think this is not like a Freudian misclick. I actually didn't want this. I wanted to upgrade all cards. Yeah, good, good. Okay, and I do want to make sure that before the next ride, I have something rest site. I have something else. I have another card that I that is not upgraded because otherwise I will have to rest there, which I would like to avoid. All right, get rid of the regret here. Let's do chill, cool headed. Um, get bring back a cool headed. Okay, and then steam barrier, beam cell, cold snap, and then here I don't want another curse, right? Yeah, so let's not necessarily avoid it, but I don't want to volunteer for it either. Too bad I couldn't play the capacitor there. Uh, 21, the fragment is good. Yeah, I think with my current deck, I can just turtle. And I mean, I have a lot of block already. So maybe I'll do cool snap and then uh, cool headed. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I think this will be boring because I have so much focus already and I just have to avoid the curse. So I will speed this up a little and I'll be right back. All right, I killed there pretty quickly. We got a power potion, stack, chill, or streamline. A second uh, chill. Or my collective motion snack. I think I should take the snack. And then here, genetic algorithm recycle leap. A little too late for genetic algorithm. I think I'll take the leap. It's not upgraded, but fine. All right, last lead. Reptomancer one more time. Didn't get the giant head. That was sort of my hope of getting the um, combo modifier and possibly overkill. Let's do chill, see what I get. All right, get rid of the doubt. I might have trouble defending here fully, right? Um, so I have to kill the minions. Uh, this luckily is enough, so... Sort of wasting the barrage, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Luckily, the Reptomancer is not attacking me. I can do cool-headed barrage. It's probably a little too much. I think I'll do cold snap and then melter. All right. And then I can do a decent barrage here. Mm -hmm. Could have gotten rid of the injury if I wanted to. All right. Yeah, that's a bunch incoming. I do have the go for yes, which is very useful to make the enemy weaken to loop overclock. 
And then aggregate is great. I can do cool headed. Uh, obviously, stack is enough to fully defend. And then sweeping beam, cool headed again. Mm, compile driver is pretty good. And then ball lightning. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more damage than I like from the regret, regret but that's fine. Okay. Still not being attacked. I can do capacitor, consume, defragment. And uh, yeah, maybe I should have just focused more on... Um, yeah, I, I guess the ball lightning is the only way I can generate lightning orbs at the moment, right? Which is probably not great. Um, and then here, if I bring back a barrage, I think I should be plenty, especially pre-upgraded and the enemy being vulnerable. Yeah, dead branch, that's really good. Whenever you exhaust the card, add a ram card into your hand. That makes the chill much better. And then another aggregate charge battle rebound. I think I only have copies of aggregate, so might as well take it. And then let's do another question mark room. Although I don't really need a shop any uh, a curse anymore. But if I take Darkstone Pair up here, I might be able to get a curse on the next act and or next floor and gain enough max HP. But maybe instead I'll do actually I'm almost at 50 cards. Hmm. How badly do I want Ori? It might give me more collector bonuses. Let's take it. So I can pick up, choose and add five card cards to add to your deck. Already have enough cool headed and stacks for that matter, right? So I don't need anything else. Although maybe if I if I don't want the last condition, maybe I should take another cool headed just to have it. Here, not a huge fan. I could take Claw. Mm, sweeping beam actually skim is really good here i should definitely take that another sweeping beam here and barrage how many barrages do i have three let's get a collect bonus on that and then yeah fine let's do claw as well all right and then back to the shop so uh can't afford any other relics unfortunately in terms of cards i'm not a huge fan i guess i can take another turbo I don't think I need anything else maybe ja i mean if i have to go let's take jack of all trades because it exhausts and i think that's pretty much it Okay. All right. And then here, I mean, I will skip a rest side. That seems unnecessary. Okay. I am at 48 minutes, though, so I'm definitely playing a little slower than I could. Uh, next, let me upgrade the agate. Why not? The second agate I got. I got. Mm -hmm. All right. So here, a weekend one, I definitely want to drink the potion of capacity right away. And then I'll also drink the strength potion. I will also love to do the fragment, although it's a little dangerous, but still, let's do it. Let's do chill. Then aggregate the fragment. Okay, so 21 I have to defend against. Then do Compile Driver. Get rid of the Decay. Okay, Electrodynamics is really... Oh, it's a power, though. That's a problem. Let me see what I get by doing... Hang on, let's do Ball Lightning here. Then I'll do one Barrage for a lot of damage. And then a second Barrage. Yeah, see, the problem is I just don't have enough block, right? Is there anything I can bring back with Liquid Memories? Uh, compile Driver, maybe, for Cartel. Let me see what the Attack Potion gives me. Sunder, Ball Lightning, Rip and Tear. I guess I'll do Sunder for free. Gives me energy back. And then, um, yeah, let's bring back Compile Driver. Hope it draws me something good. All right, Turbo Cool Headed. Not bad. I'm up to 16. And Cold Snap, that's 20. I still need a tiny bit more block. Phew. Okay, this is close. All right, good. Oh, I should have counted cards, right? I'm up to 15 cards already. Oh, that's really good. I think I should be able to get the combo modifier here, right? Let's do Claw, Ball Lightning, then uh, 18. Yeah, so Barrage. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally kill because this is 8 times 16. That's uh, 144, right? Um, well, that's not enough to kill yet. And then I can do Barrage, the second one to kill. And then I can do Loop and Electrodynamics. Good, good. All right. That was a turn one uh, kill on the Awakened one, and now I just have to survive the uh, reincarnation. 41 incoming. Let's do Jackal Trades, Hand of Greed. That's not super necessary. I'll do Cool Headed. I should have drank the Energy Potion already. The Power Potion, I mean. Uh, let's do Double Energy. See what this gives me. Capacitor, Echo Form, Hello, Hello World. Um, Echo Form is not a bad idea. Let's take that. Then go for the Ice. I should have done Beam Cell first. Okay, so blockwise, I'm fully defender, right? Very nice. Okay, I can do recursion, get the frost drop up front, then do melter. Might as well play leap, steam barrier, and then have greed for 33. Yeah, I think overkill is impossible, but I did get combo, which is good. Mm -hmm. All right, 19. Um, let me do cool headed twice. I forgot that I had the echo form active compile driver. Get rid of the regret, then loop. Hang on, I am fully defender, right? Let's do turbo white noise. Okay, storm, then a loop. All right. And then here, let's do skim. See if I get anything good. Get rid of the curses. And I guess I'll do another loop. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still haven't drawn the consume right yet, right? I probably should try to do that. 33. I don't have a lot of block. This might be a problem. Uh, I do have the stack, though. Yeah, that's good. That's enough. I probably should have double played the consume that I think about it. And let's just do barrage here. 
Okay. And I just need... Yeah, if I... Actually, maybe even just double playing Barrage would have been enough to kill, right? Yeah, that this is enough. Good. Loop killed. Alright, 51 minutes. Not too bad, but at least I played much better in the last two days. 1464. Let's see where we stand in the rankings. So out of the... Seven, uh, no, eight elites. Seven. Sorry, seven elites. Actually, I perfected everything. Alright, and I got Beyond Perfect. Got Combo. Didn't get the Overkill modifier. I think I should have bought the Pennip for that, but I did buy the Prayer Will instead, which allowed me... I don't know. Did it allow me to get four Collect Bonuses or would I have gotten them otherwise too? I did get a Collect Bonus on Barrage. I was close to Cold Snap. I, was, I had one for Cool Headed... Um, close to hologram and melter and then i had ones for stack and steam barriers yeah so yeah i probably should have I, I definitely think it's it's possible to get a higher score i also or more collective bonuses i also got the pop modifier which is great it's gonna be in it's fairly doable and curses which is also very doable um yeah 1464 let's see where we're standing ranking so i think theoretically another 50 points by playing faster and getting overkill um, okay, I'm 16 right now, which is not too bad. Um, I am an unusual amount of points away from Chef. Uh, so Chef has exactly 29 points more. Actually, I guess that could be explained by Chef. Maybe towards the end, I, if I, once I had enough curses, there was no need for me to go for the path with the most question mark rooms. I could have just taken regular fights, and that might have allowed, uh, if I had replaced two question mark rooms with regular fights, it would have tied the score with Chef, and then playing, of course, faster and all that. Uh, so yeah, I suspect that's what Chef did. Let me know in the comments if that's not the case. And then you have Mike here with 1416, Flick Nickham 1387, Lord of Patal in 1364. Uh, so not bad scores. I'm pretty happy with my run. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, let me embark real quick just to show the sealed deck again and see if there's something else I could have gone for. My deck was a little weird. It mostly focused on Orcs, though. I think as much as I wanted to add some zero-cost cards to get the time dilation going, I think mostly it was, your, uh, it was our orbs. So I had the Cool-Headed, I had the uh, Cold Snaps, and um, Melter... Well, Malta's not orb related. I guess there's a ball lightning. Yeah, I, I think I think my strategy was right, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you did something different. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.